Well, good morning inmates, comrades and COVID survivors. What is happening today? Now, it's almost been, I think, over three weeks since I've ridden. I've had some rain, I've been busy. Today, I'm going to the laying of the ashes of a gentleman called Sandy Harbour. Now, a lot of um, Australian bike riders will know Sandy. He was the writer, producer and director of a cult movie called Stone. Now, for my overseas people, you may have heard of this as well. A big thing in the day, in the 70s when it was done, and it certainly broke a lot of boundaries. Come a cult classic here, and I'm not sure, let me know if it's a bit of a classic where you are, because if you haven't seen it, then you probably could watch it on Google these days, I'm not sure. Sandy was born back in 1941, and he died last November, and because of COVID, we couldn't, well, the biking community couldn't do anything to honour him. Stone was shot all in Sydney as well, and he was very um, parochial about keeping it there. He found an old pub that used to be a mad biker's bloodbath that was closed, and he got that open to shoot the, the scenes in. There's a um, scene here on the from the grave diggers on the highway, and many bikers um, came from all over Australia to join that procession. The movie, obviously, it's 70, so it's a little bit dated, but it's worth watching. So I will um, capture some of that today. And if I can rip off this little interview, um, not that I did, but Sandy Harbert did for TV, um, I'll try and add that in as well, save you Googling and looking for it. I wanted to, I want to ask you, I just do videos when I've got something to talk about and something to share with you, something that I think is interesting. Or, and I'm still learning the whole YouTube world. And you know, I don't have that many subscribers. Plus I don't monetize my videos. I've decided not to put ads on them anyway because they really give me the shits. But Sunday morning I spend you know half an hour looking at other YouTubers. And I've come across lots with thousands and thousands of subscribers and hundreds if not thousands of uh, comments. Yeah, you know, and it's that person posts because they post every Wednesday and Sunday, no matter what. And uh, a lot of the videos are just them maybe riding to the post office to get mail. And uh, But they just do it religiously because their philosophy is to be successful on YouTube, you need to be consistent. Now, I disagree with that because I think if I just posted shit for the sake of posting shit, so it's that question over quantity versus quality. And I'm not saying my quality is fantastic because I'm still getting my head around a lot of things to watch anything it has to contain something of interest and relevance and is not um, me just starting up the bike and listening to the sound of the exhaust for instance for three minutes or going to the post office because it's Sunday and I have to post something so I'll just get on the bike and go to the post office tell me what you think maybe I'm wrong it's really genuinely interested in what makes content work for instance, my grandchildren um, watch this, per A is for Adley, it's this little kid, the family just video their whole lives, just at home waking up in the morning and playing with dolls and dad and mum get involved and they got she's got a little brother and um, millions of subscribers, millions. And my granddaughters love it. What am I missing here? Let's go uh, and get ready to go over to Centennial Park, Sydney where it's the laying of the ashes of Sandy Harbutt, the writer, producer, and director of this cult movie, Stone. Enjoy. Let's go, shall we? First, I need to find out where the fuck I'm going. Centennial Park. I know how to get to Centennial Park, of course. Christ's sake. Actually, I'm leaving a lot earlier than I need to, simply because I don't want to turn up like in the middle of anything, you know. I like to get there before anyone else, get my posse. And because it's a very hardcore group today, I want to make sure that I can drop the bike. Not that I've ever done that, but it is a worry.
but I've added an, an extension to it in the hope that I don't have to move it so much and I can just turn the camera rather than the whole stick. So I'm going to Centennial Park, which is like a big beautiful park in Sydney. It's not a bit like our version of Central Park perhaps. BPS wanted me to go another way, but I am decided to go this way. I hope you can hear me and I hope this is fucking working. It does my head in this camera shit, but I'm all geared up today. I could do a four shoot movie, I reckon. No, that's not going to work because it was too wobbly and I would have lost the camera. I think I'm going to have to invent something, you know, that suits my style of filming. I can't do what most moto vloggers do, you know, sticking the camera here in their full face helmet. I'm not a lover of full face helmets. I have got one, I just don't like them. But since they've put the tram lines in, Sydney's all sort of changed a little bit. Travel the path of the plane where the true nation came I traveled the road with my western friend Traveled the road again We can see it's a very busy place on a Sunday morning start seeing any bikes and get a fucking ice cream what do you reckon why not see my feathers hello there's enough bike here to sink a battleship i reckon thank you I thought I was going to get in trouble. Well, I've seen the photographs and you can't forget that when you look at that. ridiculous, I know. So, I was, you I'd run into you. No, you're right. Am I okay to come yeah, along? Yeah, yeah, come on. So, There's a mini bike getting around my horse too. That's mine. Is that? That's a little scooter. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's me. So you're going to have the Harbour Bridge That's that. it. That's sweet but baby. That's you on it. That's me. Ah, you that's, dressed, you're that's, dressed differently. That's sweet baby Jane. Yeah, I was in corporate. Yeah, I was doing like, meetings. Uh, yeah, secretary right. or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's very, it's well, a hard I have a movie to called Rock, Rock, which he's Sandy's written. Oh, really? So he got Stone okay. Two, yeah. which someone else is going to write. Yeah. And we've got to stay. Well, Sandy said he's quite happy to stay away from anything. Yeah. We've got Rock. Yeah. Which is yeah. unbelievable. Oh, he's he's my mate. He's my teardrop builder. Yeah. Yeah. Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Wild Bill. Bill. Oh, I don't. Oh, yeah. I, I'm glad I came yeah, early. Yeah. Uh, I just can't wait to get her into that tears. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Thank you very much. No worries. Um, Let's take a picture. I, well, I, I'm going to get to this story. Yeah, I interviewed um, Septic. 
Oh, good old Sir Dewey's an old yeah. friend from way back. Yeah, so I interviewed him. Most of it ended up on the cutting room floor because yeah. he was off his fucking chops. That'd be, that's Sounds right. Yeah. But he died well. He died, well. yeah. He died well. He died well stoned. He probably had some bourbon and he was in his, he, he was being I wish I could up find, yeah, I, there was a hard drive with all that footage on it and I don't know where it's gone. It's disappeared. Right. How lucky am I? I've got a patch. Yeah, we're giving those away. That's special. We're not, we're not selling them. That's a gift it's lovely. for people to turn up. Uh, yeah. No, no, no. no. No, 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 it's our pleasure. Thank you. I don't know how legal this is, by the way, but it is like stuff. Uh, like it's interesting. It doesn't, yeah. Um, Go this way, guys. Come down. Come under the front, guys, because we're going to take a few shots as well. The whole family is here today. So, uh, thank you for all sharing that special day, guys. Great to see you. Um, great to see uh, so many people here from different type of clubs as well, and, and, and always uh, supporting us when we do something. So, thanks again. Hey, everybody, look to me. Look to me. All these photographers are here. Ready? Look to me. Ready? And looking good. One, two, three. Yes! Yeah! Um, you know, we place an order, we've got them came to us, so that's fantastic, good to see. I'm sure a lot of you guys already been two months ago with us and uh, brought Sandy to the crematorium and tonight, today, we are going to basically take his sashes. So, uh... Don't worry about blood. So now we're doing like this procession around the, around the park. So, I thought there was a lake, we're putting the ashes in a lake, no? No. <laughs> on, on the grass. Okay. So, this is where the ashes are going to be scattered. I wonder why they chose this spot. Why? That would be good to know. Hello. 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 Of course. Who does? Now, when people ask me a question where the answer is always yes, I go, okay. does Barbie have a plastic pussy? I don't know. I never looked. <laughs> I would want to go home. Well, yeah, I'd be, I'd be very honoured and humbled to Thank have a picture much. taken with you all. Yeah, well, I like to pop it on our Facebook page as well. So oh, okay. yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I'm a social media whore, so yes, I don't I'm mind where it goes. <laughs> so why are they choosing this spot to throw the ashes around? Do you know? Yes, yeah, Sandy grew up around this area, and he used to kick around parks and, and some oh, of the streets. Okay. Okay. Right here, closest to this, you know, boy, boy, Is that right? I was wondering place. why they chose here. I'm going to sl slide up the front and see as much as I can. Yeah. Now Sandy's the sort of guy that said what needed to be said, did what needed to be done. And here we are to be able to farewell him. Almost like the final ride, isn't it? I really just want to sincerely thank everybody from the bottom of my heart for coming today. This means so much to me and I know Sandy would have been absolutely knocked out. Sandy absolutely loved Centennial Park. He thought there were many stunningly beautiful places in the world, but there was no place that was more beautiful than Centennial Park and he used to run through Centennial Park and Queen's Park as a child. It is absolute paradise to him. Now he would hope that his work has contributed to improving the situation, although we still know that our service people are not looked after and appreciated as much as they should be. But hopefully in his effort of trying to validate their experience, Vietnam vets first and then veterans in general, because he understood, even though he didn't fight himself, he understood and sympathised the plight of the fighting man or woman. So thank you, thank you all for very much for being here. And I'm willing to bet that actually most people here can say, my life was changed by Sandy Harbour. I know a lot of people 
saw Stone when they were very young. In some cases, their, their fathers or brothers snuck them into the movie. And they saw the movie and their life changed forever. And I think that goes for most of us here. We're carrying on what he created. And his legacy is going to live on forever, I would say. So we're going to sprinkle some of the ashes. So this is a place that will be remembered by all of us. And as we come past Centennial Park and as some of you come back to this place, we will remember. You won't be forgotten. And as Zonka said, it's just part of the journey, Hi, isn't it? Elizabeth, I'm Chris. That was beautiful. Hello, Thank Chris. you for allowing me to be a part of everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. It's beautiful too, what you did was lovely. You're, and were you're with the God Squad, and your name? Ken. Ken. The face is familiar, I don't know. I have one of those faces. Yeah, that was a love, lovely, what you said, beautiful words. Hi. Hi, everybody. Bye. I wanted to write a script, obviously, it was the first one you were going to write, about something I really knew about and was secure in, and one of those things was motorbikes. And I had just penetrated this amazing culture. Uh... <laughs> Stone is a trip. And when you're on a bike, I mean a big bike, you've got all power, man. The grave diggers are on the move. A new breed of motorbike gang. That's why we're here, man, together. Because when you're out there right. 
with the grave diggers. What can stop us, man? What can stop us? We own the world. They live in a fortress by the sea. Vietnam veterans with their own style of life, their own rules, their own religion. Satan! Look at me when I strike the They don't seem to make a lot of friends. But now, somebody wants them dead. All of them. So the cops sent Stone. He's a pig. Yeah, that's right, I'm a cop. I've been sent to find out who's been killing your mates. Why would you want to know that? That's the way I earn my living. The whole reason we're outlaws is because we're against pigs. And everything a pig is. So how are we going to do our thing with you pigging around us? Ken Shorter is stone, working undercover on a deadly mission. Sandy Harbert is the undertaker, leader of the grave diggers. Your law sends young blokes to somebody else's country to fight people they know nothing about. As long as you keep on shooting them, they hang medals on you. When you don't shoot them anymore, they shut you in jail. The cop and the bike gang. Two lifestyles clash. In a suspense thriller, you cannot predict. What's the score, man? You got a pro after you. Man, I didn't want any trouble. Well, why don't you do something honest, like sell used cars to old ladies? I'll kill you! You think we're a pack of imbeciles, don't you? I'll kill you! Stone is different. <laughs> <laughs> 